welcome today let us understand what is impersonation and different types of attacks that are possible because of impersonation what is impersonation you know the word called personality or persona right now the personality is the way you behave is called a personality right you have a pers you have a persona persona means a mask so you wear different masks at different places in uh, in terms of behavior and you don't behave in the same way that uh, uh, you behave with your family at work so you have a different persona at work you have a different persona at uh, home and you have a different persona with your friends and so we wear different personas during our day to day life now what is impersonation with respect to security right now when when you look at the personality in the physical world you have one single appearance now what if somebody else wears your personality and impersonates you see in the world of physical form it is almost impossible to impersonate somebody else a person knows you and he can recognize your face he can recognize your voice and your way of communicating and all that so there are many attributes that make you as a certain personality now when it comes to internet right you are with full of virtual identities me as venki have a you know gmail account and i have my identity at gmail i have my banking credentials at banking system i have university credentials at university i have my work credentials at work so there are so many identities that are being created now let us take an example to understand it better now in earlier days you you have a banking system right so you have a bank physical bank that you often used to visit for withdrawing uh, money or depositing money now you very less go to the bank to uh, credit or debit money from the bank you rather do it online right so you have an online identity for yourself and the bank also has an uh, online identity now the bank has online identity and you have an online identity so what do you do you are a user for the bank now in the in the earlier physical world right what do you do you visit the bank and get your transaction done so the bank uh, recognizes you you recognize the bank location bank staff and all that now when you visit right online now coming to the online world right your bank is represented with some url right some bank uh, website so mybank.com you are no more visiting the physical campus or physical setup of the bank but you are visiting the virtual setup of the bank now it is easy to impersonate this system than the physical one right so what you could do now your bank has provided you a url called mybank.com what if i impersonate that with a easily misspelled one right mybank.com so if i type by mistake mybank.com i would be taken to this website which is mischievous which is not legitimate now the attackers have created this website same as your mybank the genuine legitimate website and they will ask you to enter username and password you do not check the url and then you enter your username and password gone your credentials are with the attacker now they have collected your username and password and tells you some reason that okay your credentials are incorrect retry again and something until you actually recognize that this is not the genuine site you are visiting so once they have got control over your username and password what the attackers do they log into your genuine identity of the bank and they can do any transaction that is possible so this is impersonation in impersonation world there are different ways that you can be cheated that you can be misled let us look into them
phishing right this term you might have heard it many times in the world of internet this phishing refers to convince a person to take some action by impersonating a trustworthy party that reasonably may legitimately ask the user to take such action phishing this word you might have heard it many times when you are referring to security attacks what impersonation is done here with respect to phishing is that so you will receive an email or a, a message or a phone call that appears as if a genuine authority is sending you an email or authority to send you a text message or an authority sent you uh, a call or called you for some information so they are impersonating a genuine authority and asking you for certain confidential information and a criminal may send an email that appears to have been sent by a major bank and that ask the recipient to click on some of the urls that could install viruses malware or ask for credentials or private information via the link so this is a phishing now you have spear phishing right so what is spear phishing you have now let us look into spear phishing spear phishing is also type of phishing attack right but they are designed and sent to target a specific person business or an organization right so if a criminal seeks to obtain credentials into a specific company's email system he or she may send emails crafted specifically for particular targeted individuals within the organization so he or she knows the individual of an organization whom they are targeting those cases you call that as a spear phishing attack then you have ceo fraud the scale is increasing right as you look into impersonation right you are impersonating a bank you are impersonating an employee of an organization and you are impersonating a ceo of a company ceo fraud is similar to spear phishing because in spear phishing we target a particular employee here in ceo fraud we are targeting the ceo right so you send an email to your finance department finance department as if you are sending to release some funds to a new vendor in fact the actual ceo is not sending that email but a see of fraud an attacker is sending that email because he got control over the ceo's uh, email by spear phishing as the phishing extends into different sets right you have something called smishing this is no different from email phishing but the here the messages are sent over sms right to your uh, telephone uh, to your mobile phone sms is being sent and similarly we have wishing that is voice based phishing right so in voice based phishing you do get a call from it by claiming that they are they are a genuine company they are a bank or they are a medical institution and seeking your information that leaks the data and then in the back end they go use your details to uh you know take away money or uh, to take away your private information there is so much can be done when your private information is out right and then you have whaling whaling is exclusively targeted for high profile businessmen right? or high profile executives so when you target a high profile business executive the loss of data or loss of corporate information is very high right? so that is called whaling and now you have tampering this you might understand easily tampering does not necessarily steal the data 
but it manipulates the data so that both the parties do not understand or do not progress further with their communication so this is to cause disruption to the business than stealing the data so tampering is another way that you can fish by not by stealing the data but by disrupting the business so that the communication is not understood the communication prolongs and they don't close the deal what they are looking for hope this has given you a basic understanding of what is impersonation and what are the different types of attacks that are possible because of impersonation